So we are in Reader's Notebook, lesson number one, and we are talking about using context today. And what that means is when you're reading a sentence and you have text in front of you, it's looking at the words in the text to help you understand maybe an unfamiliar word or an unfamiliar phrase. And you can do that Oftentimes we do it as practice without even knowing that we're doing it when we run across something that we might not know or we might not understand and we're immediately searching around that word for other keywords or phrases that might help us better understand what that word might mean. And that's just using context. Um, in this we are going to be practicing using context which is information that's other information provided in the sentence to decipher or determine what the italicized phrase in the sentence means and number one says Lewis began to lose the feeling in his fingers his hands became blank well we've got a word box up here a word bank that we can choose words from to fit on the line Lewis began to lose the feeling in his fingers his hands became blank so we have a italicized lose the feeling okay and when somebody loses the feeling in their fingers or in their hands okay I oftentimes think about that feeling when I get very very cold we live in Montana right so we know what it's like and when you start to lose the feeling you become what and it is numb n u m b Okay, it, number two says, it was a box wrapped in brown paper. A blank had come in the mail. So we have underlined a box wrapped in brown paper. So what could a box wrapped in brown paper mean? And we need to go up to our word list here, and we know that a box wrapped in brown paper is a package. And so we're going to write the word package on the line. And we have number three. His visit was not expected. The students enjoyed the blank. Okay, something that's not expected. Well, what is something that's not expected? Oftentimes we think of like something that's not expected. I always think of it, it seems like it happens on your birthday a lot. And it's a surprise. And you can go ahead and finish out this page. But there is one word here that I wanted to talk to you about, and that word is the word unorthodox. And unorthodox can just mean something that is like different or unexpected, something that's kind of strange, not what you would think of as the usual. So unorthodox would be something that's a little bit strange or different. All right, you can pause it here and finish out 4 through 10. Or you can go on with me and I'm going to go to short vowels and this week your words are breath wobble blister crush direct promise grasp numb him shovel gravity frantic swift feather comic bundle solid weather energy, stingy, and your challenge words are instruct, distress, summit, massive, and physical. We are going to do a word sort where we are finding words that best complete each group. And so when we look at number one, it says a force, a pool. And so we need to find out which word is Best, which word best fits with or completes this group, a force or a pull? And when we look at a force or a pull, we're going to think of gravity. And gravity is number 11 in your list here, gravity. And so you're going to write the word gravity on the line. Number two says cheap or miserly. And familiar with. It's not a super um, widely used word with kids, I wouldn't think, but cheap, you understand what it is to be cheap, okay? And well, one way to describe miserly and cheap is also stingy, people who don't share easily or spend easily. Stingy. So you're going to write stingy on the line. 
I often have questions about number six, stack or batch. And it doesn't mean to stack things, it's a stack of or a batch of something. And that would be a bundle. And there it is, bundle is number 16. So bundle is number six. The other one that I think isn't always really, really clear for kiddos is to point or point or aim and point or aim is direct in this direct point or aim direct and that's number 12 CT and then you're going to see challenge it says imagine you are hiking up a mountain describe that challenge and we do not we are not going to be completing that challenge so you can go ahead and skip that part and you can complete the rest um, of 3 through 15.